Hey guys, what's up? Brian or Photo Lunatic here, and I'm back with the behind the scenes of the making of Call. That made no sense. I'm here with the uh, behind the scenes of Call of Duty Ghost. Anyways, guys, so on screen right now, you're about to see the CEO of Activision. He's gonna sort of introduce the um, trailer, the behind the scenes stuff, and everything like that. Sort of walk you through it, and then we're gonna hear from a bunch of developers and designers. From Infinity Ward, Activision, and other companies that help make Call of Duty Ghosts, that are helping make Call of Duty Ghosts happen. So, I hope you enjoy this. I'll be making a recap video probably tomorrow, so I'll give my opinions on everything. I just wanted to let y'all see all this, if y'all haven't seen it already. And I'll, be, I'll come back right at the end of the video, during the outro. Thanks, guys. I think everyone was expecting us to play it safe this year, and simply make... Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. But we didn't want to do the safe thing. We wanted to do the right thing. And that meant eliminating as many creative restrictions as possible so that our developers could create an entirely new Call of Duty for the next generation. And that's exactly what we're going to deliver with Call of Duty Ghosts. An entirely new world, an entirely new narrative, an entirely new cast of characters, all built on our new next-gen Call of Duty engine. Call of Duty set the gold standard for first-person action in the current gen, and make no mistake, we're going to do it again with Call of Duty Ghosts for the next gen. We've had a camera crew inside our iconic studio, Infinity Ward, capturing the creative process as the vision for this game has unfolded, and we wanted you to be the first to go behind the scenes and take a look at what they've been up to. Here at Infinity Ward, we've had a great time crafting the benchmark of the modern day shooter on current gen. And we're really excited that we get to be the studio that brings Call of Duty into the next generation. We have a whole new story with brand new characters, completely new world, and this is powered by a new next gen engine that gives us amazing graphic fidelity and really innovative new ways to play the game. So what we wanted to do is create a cast of characters that you really felt more emotionally attached to. We had the opportunity to work with Steven Gagan. This is the guy that won an Oscar for writing Traffic. He wrote and directed Syriana. What they really wanted in this game, in Call of Duty Ghosts, is they wanted emotional reality. You know, they wanted these characters to feel real, to feel like real people. So the story opens up with a mass event. America is crippled, our military forces are devastated, our government's in disarray, and as the player, you are actually the underdog, fighting back against these superior forces. So the team you're a part of is formed from the remnants of all the U.S. Special Forces. Ghosts are a super elite fighting force to like the Spartans all the way through SEAL Team 6. They've adopted every technique that's useful for modern, urban, guerrilla-style fighting. One of the fascinating new additions to your squad is a dog. We've had dogs in Call of Duty before, but never like this. This is someone you care about. This is a squad member. He does everything from sniffing out explosives to protecting the team. So with this next Call of Duty being in a new world on a whole new storyline, one of the things that we wanted to do to support that was create a new engine. Our goal this game is to make brand new next-gen characters and weapons that's never been seen before in a Call of Duty game. We have a new tech in the game, Sub-D. The idea is, is the closer you get to it, the more it tries to maintain any curvature that you see. This is very helpful on weapons and helmets for characters. That makes a huge difference for visual fidelity of what the player sees from a distance as well as close up. With a new next-gen console, this is an opportune time for us to reinvent the experience that we deliver. It's important to keep our core philosophies about gameplay drives tech. So when I think about the animation features that we've been working on for Call of Duty Ghosts, one of the, the first things that come to mind is immersion. We have a new mantle system so that when you're running quickly and you hit a wall, you get this nice boom, you hit it and you leap and you go and you just maintain your momentum. But we have the lean feature that allows you to lean out and lean in and you get a better view of the battlefield. So another feature that we're working on with animation is the slide. It allows you to get somewhere quickly, get out of the line of fire, and at the same time do it in a really cool looking way. We've added fluid dynamics, interactive smoke, and also added an AI system to it. So we have fish move out of the way when you get close to them. The poly counts, the texture increases, the shaders, the lighting, tech, the level should feel like you're really there, and all the technology that's going into it allows you to achieve those goals. 
With this being an all new Call of Duty, we've really taken this opportunity to revamp multiplayer. One of these new MP features that I'm most excited about is dynamic maps. We have everything from big earthquakes and floods down to player driven actions, doors, explosive traps, things that change the flow of the map. All of this creates a new dynamic experience for the player. Another new feature is character customization. You can choose the heads, you can choose the bodies, you can choose the helmet and gear that you're wearing. You can connect with who you are as a player more so than we've ever done in the past. Dynamic maps and character customization are just two of the new innovations that we're bringing to next-gen multiplayer. We have the best fans in the world, and we're committed to creating for them a new next-generation Call of Duty experience. One of the key reasons Call of Duty has been as successful as it is, is we focus on gameplay. It's the thing we design for. It's the thing that drives our success as a franchise. And with all of the new tech, all of the new story elements, everything that we're putting into this next-generation Call of Duty, we are still 60 frames a second, low-latency controls, a great-feeling game. This will be the most beautiful Call of Duty game we've ever made. It will also be the most character-driven and emotionally engaging Call of Duty game we've ever made. And it will be the best Call of Duty game we've ever made. A stunning leap forward, not just for this franchise, but also for console gaming. To show you what I mean, we've put together a little comparison video that shows you what's possible on the next gen and puts side by side the differences between what we're going to be delivering in Call of Duty Ghosts and what was in uh, Infinity Ward's last game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, which was state of the art just a very short time ago. And when you look at the differences side by side, it's actually pretty stunning. Let's take a look. This sequence shows one of Modern Warfare 3's main characters, Price. While this asset pushed the limits of what was capable at the time, the technology employed by the new engine allows us to take the visual fidelity of our models to a whole new level. This next generation head is modeled with multiple features represented. Sub-D, high resolution textures, subsurface skin shaders, multiple lights, and self-casting shadows. Here, you can see the dog model from Modern Warfare 3. Our new dog model is taken from high resolution scans of an actual SEAL Team service dog. Every detail is replicated, right down to the scars on the nose and the tattoo inside the ear. When playing first-person action games, your character's arms are one of the most looked-at visual elements. The arms in MW3 were beautiful at the time, but the new engine allows for significantly increased texture resolution. This advancement in technology allows us to convey fine hairs, bruising, cuts, and even the dirt beneath the fingernails. Here's an example of a jungle environment from Modern Warfare 3. Now, here's a jungle environment from Ghosts. This scene employs many new tech features, including volumetric lighting, boosted poly count, and self-casting shadows. Okay, you've seen the vision for the game, and you've seen the technology behind it. You've seen just a few of the, the ideas that we're bringing to Call of Duty Ghosts inside campaign, new characters, new story, new narrative, and inside multiplayer, dynamic maps, character customization, and there are a lot more new ideas to come. From new co-op ideas, to seamless second screen integration, to voice commands via Connect, and more. But now, it's time to see it all come together. The gameplay you're about to see is running in-engine on the new Xbox hardware.